If you have done CP, I'm sure you have heard of the A2OJ ladders. But if you have not, it is basically a problem set of common questions done by people who have had good rating increase and also stable rating increase. And this is what it looks like. For some certain rating, you are given a list of 100 problems. It was created by this guy over here, Ahmed Ali. And before I go over how he made it, let me tell you why I decided to reconstruct it. As you can see, this was made 5 years ago. And I think code forces have changed over time. Earlier problems used to be more data structure heavy, heavy in quotation marks, and used to use more classical ideas. Now with time as these ideas and data structures become more well known and more classical, they started being used less and nowadays ad hoc and more observation based problems prevail, especially until candidate master at least. For example, I didn't know sparse table until I was a high expert or low CM and I properly learned sec trees also after becoming candidate master. And I still don't know most algorithm, which I'm sure a lot of pupils know, but what are they going to do with it? And this blog by Amnik, a legendary grandmaster, gives the same message that binary search is the most important algorithm. So while this problem set is good, updating it with newer problems and user data would make a lot more sense. And that is why I decided to do this. I tried to ask few people and apparently no one has tried to rebuild it yet. So I'll be doing it. But there is a problem. This guy only left few details on how he built it but don't have any script open source which I can run and uh, regenerate. So I'm gonna have to rewrite that. And so it was time to get coding. But before I tell you how I did this, make sure to subscribe because I have so many returning viewers but you guys don't subscribe. What are you doing? So now let's have a look at his algorithm. So of all the rated users, he took some users which had greater than equals to 600 points increase in rating step by step over a period of one to two years and uh, they need to have 20 rated contests and 150 practice problems in this period and for those users he will select their submissions to go in the ladder and the submissions that go the most in that ladder will be more higher placed in the ladder and then he s sorted them and arranged them into some buckets of difficulty and this is what it looks like so we have problems for every rating and if you go to some rating let's say this one then what you will see is that the first problem here for 1500 to 1600 the first problem is actually 800 rated and the difficulty increases but practicing an 800 problem at specialist is not going to help and that is what i find wrong with this and so with my new ladder what i decided is it would be like every rating would have 100 problems and every problem would be ordered by their frequency but every ladder will have same rating problem and you can choose that and you can choose which ladder you want to use by adding 100 or 200 to your current rating the normal plus 200 rule and so that is how i developed my algorithm to be slightly different from the original one so now let's have a look at the script which is responsible for actually processing all the submissions and figuring out which problems i need to store in my database so for every user what i am doing is i'm fetching his rating and uh, if he has less than contest threshold that is 20 then don't do anything otherwise get his submissions and then do a sliding window kind of thing but it's not sliding window it is sliding bucket so let me so if his rating is like something like this so instead of considering the entire two years i'm considering buckets of six months and then in these buckets of six months if they have had an increase in rating of greater than equals to 150 then i consider this range as eligible and similarly for every other range. So the constraints are slightly more relaxed, but that is fine. And so based on that, I filter out all the problems. I have some duplicate removal and only selecting accepted problems, all those filters here. And, but there was a problem with this, that if I were to do this sequentially for all 46,000 users, 
it would take three, four days. And I did not have that much time. I mean, I did, but I didn't want to take that much time. So what I did is I did some batch processing. So for every hundred users, which is a checkpoint size, I split it into five batches of 20 size. And uh, all those batches in themselves would run sequentially. As you can see here, this is a sequential loop, but all these batches will be processed simultaneously. And to do that in JavaScript, I did uh, promise dot all settled. Now, obviously, JavaScript is single threaded, so they won't uh, they won't be processed simultaneously. But what happens is that one of the th one of the task makes an access call to code forces, and while it is waiting on the result of that promise, other task in the batch, other task in the checkpoint among the five batches can process. So this sped my script up and it took only about 20 hours so i had took a lot of time and then i stored them i have some checkpoint logic so that every checkpoint or that is every 100 users i am storing my progress because what if my script goes down what if code forces goes down what if something wrong happens then i have to be able to restart it and actually i needed to restart it after 30000 users were done so if I did not have checkpoint logic, I would have taken one more day. And I also have retry logic because there is rate limiting. So sometimes I will get too many request error. So in that case, I will wait three seconds and then try again. And otherwise normal wait is one second. And even if after six retries, I'm not able to do what I would do is save it in a skipped users array, which I will process later by passing true in this function. I will be able to process them and that is what I did. First of all, I did normally and then I processed all of them. There was also one at 30,000 here, but I didn't write it because not necessary. And then I made sure that the data stored is all right. And then all I had to do was store it into my database. So I created a Mongo database and put all the problems that I had for every problem I had, it's basic information like contest ID, index name, index being what problem it is, A, B, C, D, E, F, name being name, tags. Maybe I wanted to show some tags later on. The rating, because I will need to sort by rating and frequency. Frequency, remember, it is the number of eligible users that solve this problem. Eligible users are the ones that had good rating increase. So I saved it into my database and this is what my database looks like. There are 17,000 entries. And then I also created an index because my queries would be like, I want for some rating range, all the problems sorted in decreasing order of their frequency. And so increasing, so increasing index on rating and decreasing index on frequency. So it's a compound index. So that speeds up my queries. And now after running this script and now this part only took like not even a minute. So once this was done, my database was done. Now I needed to create a website. And so for the website, let me show you what it looks like. The website has two things, a backend and the backend has just one route, which is ladders, API slash ladders, and it takes start and end rating and for them it returns 100 problems with decreasing frequency so the top 100 problems and the front end is in react with typescript and instead of showing you the code i'll just show you the output and this is what it looks like so you search your user here press enter or click on search it will fetch your details and mark all the problems a c w a t l e r e and all that and you can switch ladders and it will work okay the it was not working for a second i was like okay so yeah as you can see all these things work and if i were to look at let's say let's have a look at uh, eric so eric so i can type if you see his submissions for let's say 2700 
sorry 2600 so see that his submissions are dense on the top of the ladder and uh, more sparse on the bottom so this is because of two reasons so i'm picking the problems that were most solved by eligible users which had rating increase and addictor probably had and also so that's one component that makes these problems go to the top and another is they probably were also slightly maybe easier sometimes so it is a mixture of gradient of from easy to hard and from useful to less useful it, it's a somewhat uh, turbulent mixture so can't really quantify that but as you can see it works and uh, if we check mine for let's say 1700 1600 see my 1600 problems are also concentrated on the top and sparse on the bottom and when i was solving them i was solving a lot of problems i was practicing a lot and that is be and that is why i think uh, this is correct these problems really help me so they will probably help you too and let's have a look at two list so for two list i think we can just check the highest rated problems See, he also has them concentrated on the top. Obviously, I think the difficulty gradient is more dominant here, but the usefulness is also there. And this looks like a good uh, screenshot for a thumbnail. And as you can see, all these different type of statuses are there and you can click on any problem to go there. It works just fine. So that is the front end. And after that, all I had to do was deploy. Before this, I had deployed this website using a VM instance on Azure. And due to that, I was not able to properly set up continuous deployment. So this time I used app services and I set up continuous deployment. So every time I push a commit to master branch, the code is deployed. So if you want some changes on this website, some improvements, you can make a pull request and if i find it correct and useful i will merge it and your changes will be here and obviously you can also just use it to practice because why not and with that i hope you like this leave a like subscribe this took a lot of time and i hope this was worth it